Dr. Thomas Kosowski saw himself as a high-profile plastic surgeon, broadcasting his procedures on social media and even referring to himself as Dr. Tampa Bay on YouTube. Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Tampa Bay. But this is his latest appearance in front of the cameras, trading his scrubs for a jumpsuit, now charged with a grisly first-degree murder in connection with a local lawyer's disappearance. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Kasowski was arrested for the murder of 41-year-old Stephen Causey, whose body has yet to be found, according to authorities. Kasowski's lawyer telling reporters outside the courthouse to keep an open mind. These are very, very serious charges. Uh, he is presumed innocent as he's currently sitting in jail. We're conducting our own investigation. But the arrest affidavit outlines a disturbing chain of events. It says police responded to a 911 call on March 21st. The caller telling them Causey went missing that day. WFLA reporting the caller was colleague Jake Blanchard, who spoke with our affiliate. The first reaction was, you know, gosh, is he okay, right? Did he wander off or did he hit his head or something like that? And then when I couldn't, find them then i was up then then i started to panic police noted causey left his wallet car keys and cell phone behind in his office and when blanchard was searching for him he found quote blood smeared on the bathroom door as well as blood on the stall wall and the bottom of the toilet the affidavit says when officers reviewed security footage, they found a gray Toyota Tundra had arrived at around 8.30 a.m. and that an unidentified man entered the office building wearing, quote, gloves, carrying a large box, and wearing a large backpack. About two hours later, police allege a suspect that looked similar to the unidentified man with the same backpack exited the building, pulling, quote, a large cart that appears to be heavy to his car. Investigators later say they discovered a fingerprint from Kasowski in the building and blood in his gray Toyota Tundra. The affidavit also says Kazi was never seen leaving the building on security footage. In terms of them finding a body, is he cooperating with investigators or? I have no, no comment whatsoever on that. A few days later, authorities stopped Kasowski in a different car and discovered a ballistic vest with a substantial amount of blood on it and in the trunk, along with a bag containing masks, a taser, brass knuckles, duct tape, and intravenous sedatives, according to the affidavit. Hi, guys. Welcome to the OR. Though a potential motive is still unclear, court records show that the pair were linked through a 2019 lawsuit that Kasowski filed against his former employer, the Lawfer Institute of Plastic Surgery. WFLA reporting the law firm where Kazi worked represented some of those defendants. Kazi's mother telling NBC News in a text that he was brilliant, witty, and a voracious reader whose love of people took him into law. You don't know why somebody would hurt somebody as nice as this guy. Nobody, I mean, this is the nicest guy, the sweetest guy. I mean, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Stephen Romo joins us live tonight from our Top Story studios in New York. Steve, this is a twisted and very bizarre story. What more do we know about that lawyer who is actually still missing, correct? Yeah, he is still missing. Disturbing stuff here, that's for certain, Tom. We are learning more about Kazi and his life. His mother says he loved theater and married the love of his life, Michael, saying that, quote, they had the kind of marriage that parents dream about for their children, and adding, we cannot comprehend how all of this is now gone. Just an incredibly sad week for that family, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.